How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at a brand new scan revolving around the last character for Dragon Ball Fighters Season 2, that being Dragon Ball Super Broly. Now in this scan we actually get a couple pieces of new information, a few high quality screenshots we've already seen, a better look at Broly's overall render, and then a little bit of repeated information. After we cover the scan we'll also be going over when I think we'll be able to see the trailer for Dragon Ball Super Broly, uh, and then after that a loose prediction on when we can expect this release. Before we dive deeper into any of that though, let's just go ahead and start with the scan. You can see here we get a full page of Broly news and a couple of pictures to go along with it. The one on the top left we actually have seen before in its high quality version, so I'll just go ahead and put that up on the screen now. I believe this is going to be from his intro, or at least I hope it is. It definitely looks like an intro shot to me. If it's not though, it'll definitely be in some form of a cinematic, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. It definitely looks like that kind of shot that you'll either see in a super movie or at the very beginning of a match. Moving on from that, we also get a better look at Broly's overall render. I won't stick on this too long as it is a minor point, but I felt the need to bring it up because a surprising amount of people, from my experience at least, really didn't like the Gogeta render for whatever reason. I'll go ahead and throw that up on, on screen now. I thought it looked fine, but a lot of people said it looked really weird, even people I know. <laughs> so I don't know. This looks like a return to form to me. It is stylized in a different way from the beginning renders for sure, uh, but this one looks a little more toned down than Gogeta. You can let me know down down below in the comments if you were one of the people that had a problem with Gogeta's render and whether or not Broly solves that problem for you. One thing that I think we can all agree looks pretty good though is Broly's level 3 or the giant mouth beam where he blows off all his armor in his transformed Super Saiyan state uh, and lets a huge mouth beam go. Now we know from older scans that after this you keep that upper body form uh, without the armor but you do lose the hair color. I think that has been confirmed now I'm not entirely sure but I do think that after this level 3 you always power down but you do keep that transformed upper body state. And of course, in addition to that, you also get an attack damage boost, but that is probably going to be very minimal. Think of boosts like when GT Goku's level one gets a little stronger when there's only two characters left on your team, as opposed to three. You know, something like that, where it is useful, but probably not going to be busted in any way. And now that we've covered his level three, we can move on to all of the new stuff the scan shows us. And we're going to go ahead and start with these two panels over here, covering Broly's command grab. Now, from my understanding, both of these shots are from Broly's command grab, which looks awesome by the way i don't know what order it's going in i don't know if he chucks them up and then slams them down or slams them down and then chucks them up to be perfectly honest with you i am fine with either <laughs> <laughs> but I do really love that they're both a part of the animation. This is a big thing to see because they said they wanted Broly to have some throws with him. I don't know if they're only going to make sure he has the one or if they give him another throw option to go with, but I hope throws are a big part of Broly's game. I think that would be awesome. Another big part of Broly that I want to see is some super armor in some way or some form. I mean, this is Broly. The other Broly we got in the game is already the super armor king. I would like to see maybe a little less, but at least some for Broly uh, down here. And while I don't know if it has any armor, I definitely like what I'm seeing in this new move down here. I believe this is the same move he used in the movie to clash with Goku and Vegeta's beam. Uh, so I definitely hope that has some beam invincibility to it. That would be awesome to see. Uh, but just in general, the move looks really slick and really clean. That about covers every bit of information we got in the scan itself. Of course, another thing we can tell from this that I think we've been able to tell for a long time uh, is that Dragon Ball Super Broly will most likely suffer from fuzzies in this game as well. You can see here that it looks like he's beating up on Gogeta and Gogeta is a character that gets fuzzied. Uh, and <laughs> just comparing their sizes, Broly looks like he might be, I don't know, eight feet taller than this man or something. Uh, but he will definitely suffer from that high-low mix-up syndrome, and he's really going to have to find some other ways to make up for it if he's going to land a spot on people's team. Of course, I don't think Broly's going to have to really worry about that. He'll probably be on a lot of teams just with style alone. All right, but moving away from the scans completely now, let's talk about when I expect we can see the trailer for Dragon Ball Super Broly, uh, and that, I believe, is going to be on November 10th during the World Tour event in Spain. If you take a look at the Sunday schedule that Bandai Namco Esports Twitter put out, you can see at the very end they have their grand finals and of course what really draws the eye is that special announcement memo that is listed right below there this is not something you see a lot for Dragon Ball Fighters. You don't see a special announcement after a World Tour event unless it's something like EVO or something like that. Usually tournaments do not have announcements with them. So I suspect along with these Grand Finals, uh, you can expect to see a Broly trailer almost for sure. Unless they want to do a big confirmation like you're going to want to stay tuned for the World Tour Finals or 
they make an announcement about World Tour Finals, I would say that the Broly trailer is a relatively safe bet, but even if we don't see it here, I do think we will see it very soon, as I would also like to predict that Broly's release date will be sometime during this month, maybe a little more late than early. I can predict somewhere like maybe the late 20s, 22nd, 24th, 25th, something like that. But regardless, that does put Broly's release in the time frame of sometime this month. And if not, then it'll have to be very early December, because like I mentioned in a few of the past videos on this DLC character, uh, time is just running out in general for season two of Dragon Ball Fighter. The World Tour Finals will most likely be sometime in January, and they're going to want every character playable at that event, so they're going to want to give the pros as much time as possible to learn that character, decide if they want to play him, or at least learn how to defend against that character, uh, and things like that. So just in general, I suspect we're going to be wrapping up season two here relatively quickly and moving on to whatever they want to announce next at the World Tour Final. But those are just my thoughts on that. I do want to stress that nothing has been confirmed, including including what that special announcement is, but rest assured, I will be watching the entire Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour event as I usually do, and I will be reporting back to you guys on what that announcement is, just in case you uh, you guys can't catch the stream. I do recommend you watch it though. These have been top tier entertainment uh, for a while now. With that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, but let me know your thoughts on Dragon Ball Super Broly down below in the comments. Are you liking what you're seeing? Are you hoping Broly's trailer is on that special announcement? Or just what are you hoping to hear for Dragon Ball Fighters moving forward? While you're down there though, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these videos. And hey, maybe check out another one of the videos on your screen right now if they catch your eye. I've been Dr. Doyo though. Thank you for watching to the end, and I will see you in the next one.